In 2014, the voters elected our majority because we pledged to check and balance a second lame duck president. Two years later, we kept our word. In 2018, the voters grew that majority on our pledge to continue working with President Trump, most especially on his outstanding judicial appointments. We're going to keep our word once again. We're going to vote on this nomination on this floor. Leader McConnell put the Senate on pause for over four months while COVID-19 devastated our country. But now he will move earth and heaven and ignore all principle and consistency to install a new Supreme Court justice who could rip away Americans' health care in the middle of a pandemic. Leader McConnell and Chairman Graham have made a mockery of their previous position. They seem ready to show the word, world their word is simply no good. It's enough to make your head explode. Some, some, few on that side will at least have the dignity of putting their head down and plowing through it because they know there is no reason, no reason, no argument, no logic to justify flipping your position 180 degrees and calling it some kind of principle. It is not. It is utterly craven. How can we trust each other if when push comes to shove, when the stakes are the highest, the other side will double-cross their own standards when it's politically advantageous? There's only one way, one way, for this chamber to retain its dignity through this difficult chapter. There is only one way for us to have some hope of coming together again, trusting each other again, lowering the, lowering the temperature, moving forward. And that is for four brave Senate Republicans to commit to rejecting any nominee until the next president is installed.